three of our best known Kiwi musicians and personalities have banded together as The Disappointments to release their brand new self-titled album. Music legend Brent Eccles joins us now to tell us all about it. Welcome Brent. Hello, yes. how are you going? Welcome. Thank you. Nice to have you here. A pleasure Thanks. to have you here. Uh, um, and we keep calling you a music legend. Does that I know, good? it's a bit scary. Or is that like one of those things you go, I'm not, I'm Whatever, not, it's I'm fine. not old enough yeah. for that. <laughs> um, the Disappointments, what a name. Who came up with it and why? Oh, we were rehearsing uh, at Hammond's Place and we thought, you know, when the album came out, people would say it was very disappointing. <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> so we thought, oh, this Disappointments is quite a good name for a blues band and, and for guys who have been around for as long as we have, there have been a number of uh, big disappointments. <laughs> um, in our careers uh, as musicians, but uh, yeah, it's, good, it's a good fun record, uh, it sounds good. And, and the band's made up, as you said, of some absolute you know, Kiwi legends. Yeah. Uh, we've got Hammond Gamble, we've got Andy McDonald yeah. on bass. How good is it playing together and wh how long was it between drinks, so to speak, since you picked up you know, a pair of drumsticks and gin? Well, I haven't played for 20 years, but um, wow. you know, I haven't played with Street Talk or Hammond for about 40 years probably. Good we used to play wow. the Windsor Castle three nights a week back in 76, 77. We were like 20 or something. Did it all um, come flooding back? Almost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some bits felt very similar, some bits were quite strange, but um, you know, it was good fun. Yeah. Hey, tell us about the album. I just want to ask you this because you, where did you make it and where did you mix oh. it? This is good. Oh, this okay, is, okay. This is okay, why you make an album. So we, we, we recorded at Neil Finn's studio at Roundhead. Nice. nice. But we mixed it in the Bahamas at, um, <laughs> <laughs> I had to go. Uh, <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> at Compass Point Studios, a famous studio. Um, Rolling Stones, The Police, lots of big bands record, record Bob Marley. Like that, yeah. yeah. So. And speaking of street talk, you know, Graham Reed, great music reviewer, he uh, he is quoted as saying that you are the greatest blues rock band ever produced in New Zealand. Mm. Uh, is, that, that must be quite an honour, or is it pressure? <laughs> no, no, I think it's great. I mean, I, I have to be clear, I wasn't always in the band. I went to Australia for a while, so to play in the Angels. So. Oh, with the Angels, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Um, so maybe some, someone else did that, but um, it's, they were okay. Oh, just take it. Yeah, well, take it. But it's really Hammond. Hammond's the driving force behind that band. Mm. Yeah. You were in the Angels, you're the drummer for the Angels. Mm -hmm. for quite a few years, weren't you? 20 years, yeah. What, ex what was that like as an experience? Changed my life. Yeah. Completely changed my life. And, uh, you know, it was a lot of pressure, um, a lot of highs and a lot of lows. Um, you know, touring North America, absolute lows. Mm -hmm. uh, touring Australia and New Zealand, incredible. It's an amazing time. Why was it a low in North America? Oh, lots, lots of bands from this part of the world would say, you know, they get signed to the American record deal and they have high hopes and aspirations, go over there and no one knows who you are. And, including the label, they don't know who you are, and, and it's really hard. Fair enough. OK, it's so Neil Finn, just on this. So Neil Finn, he's been signed to Fleetwood Mac recently, which is a, which is a great opportunity. Uh, if, you, if you could run away to join a band, is there one that you would run away and Oh, oh bad company. Nice, Easy. straight away. Yeah. OK, cool. <laughs> didn't, even, didn't think about that. Didn't even have to think about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Great band, great feel, great singer. Yeah. Now, you're a promoter as well. I mean, what sort of acts have you worked with? Oh, um, as long as you're not as long as you're on, really. I know, uh, a um, huge, huge yeah. amount. Recently, the Ed Sheeran tour, which is the biggest tour ever in Australasia, just incredible. Such a lovely man and a, such a talent. One guy, um, you know, three shows in Dunedin. And, and that was huge for Dunedin. Like they really came to the party, didn't they? Was that something unique? Totally. In fact, the, the whole world sat up and watched what happened in Dunedin because wow. it's a, really a provincial, sorry, Dunedin, a provincial part of New Zealand and. You know, promoters around the world that well, maybe we can do that in, in our provinces as well. And uh, so people have taken notice of that. It's mm. interesting. Painting Showed the town red. Yeah, yeah, they were amazing. Just, they owned it. Now, I right. guess you are a professional and you want to keep working, so you're not going to tell us which acts weren't that great to work with, are you? Oh, well, there's no point because they'll probably come back and I'll be working yeah. again. No, so. no, no. <laughs> hey, who's the other promoter? Because we don't want that because he said this yeah. on that show. Um, so, so, so Ed Sheeran obviously stands out as being one of the best. Yeah. Who else is really memorable? Oh, I think uh, um, Rod Stewart was pretty amazing. Uh, and, and I think so to, to work, with some, work with some of the local artists like Fat Freddy's Drop and 660, they're great people too, and a lot of talent, and sort of, they get, they're going places around the world. Mm. Uh, Drax Project, a brand new band, is so just good. so yeah. good. Sold out two power stations on the weekend. Wow. You know, Marlon Williams, now, there you go. Yeah. And See, you're heading what to a lovely this Friday? Man. I am. Yeah. What a great Friday. guy. You know, I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. Make way for love. Yeah, and honestly, Swoon. your support of New Zealand acts and getting them, you know, to live venues so yeah. Kiwis can experience them mm -hmm. has just been phenomenal. So thank you yeah. for that. Yeah. I I'm curious, though, Brent, you know, when you were a drummer and the Angels and you were in street talk, did you ever think you'd end up being a promoter? Was this accidental? No, I was always there. Right. Yeah, I always had my eyes open and knew that, you know, at some point, it was about 50, I thought, well, if I got to 50 and I'd been playing for that long, I had kind of played enough, done enough shows and... Uh, wanted to get into the dark side. 
Okay, yeah. so what are you going to do now with the disappointments? Because you did this show, the Buck Ahead show on Anzac Day. Yeah, it's sold out. Yeah. So there's a uh, demand for you. Well, I, I wasn't sure whether I'd enjoy it. I loved it, actually. I enjoyed it too much. So there may be some other shows I don't know. We'll try and see how we go. There may be some other shows I don't, shows I don't know. There will be more shows, I'm sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the other guys are going to convince you. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Okay, well, I know you're bringing Celine Dion to the yes. country soon. Um, yeah. Who would you actually really love to? Someone you've been working on that you haven't been able to get here yet? There was ooh, one act. Oh, ooh, that's, a, that's a really good question. Um, I don't know if I can answer that question. Um, <laughs> well, actually, I mentioned them before, Bad Company. Right. Um, you know, they never played here as far as I know, and they're such a good rock and roll band. I love yeah. rock and roll bands. Yeah. Um, we'll yeah. get them here, and, and then you can drum for them, and uh, <laughs> everything would work out brilliantly, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. It would be perfect. Hey, that was great. Thank you so much All for right. that chat. Yeah. Really good chat. The Disappointments brand new album is out right now. Make sure that you grab yourself a copy. Yes, thank you so much, Brent. <laughs>